Welcome to Derivatives Lesson 9.1, continuation of the derivatives of exponentials and logarithmics. All right, so first thing here I'd like you to do is I'd like you to rewrite that as the sum of two logarithms. So go ahead and do that, I dare you. And there are the two uh, sums of logarithms. Okay, take the derivative of this and put it over that plus the derivative of this over that. So let's see here, 15x to the fourth power minus, okay, that's x to the one half times two is one. That would be x to the negative half, so one over root x plus five, all over three x to the fifth minus two root x plus five x plus, okay, derivative of this is gonna be four times x squared plus six raised to the third power multiplied by the derivative of the stuff inside two x, chain rule, and then x squared plus six raised to the fourth power. Wow, and then I, we could simplify and clean that up, but that's a fight I'm not ready to willing to do right now. All right, let's move on. Some uh, some logs will not have ln as a base, so let's go ahead and look at that. If f f of x equals log base b of x, then f of x can be really written as the ln of x over the ln of b. And it would be the same function as that. Okay, how about if it's a log base b of some function of x? y prime would end up being g prime of x over ln of the base times g of x. So let's go ahead and put this into practice as best we can. What is the log base 5 of 2x squared? That would be the derivative of 2x squared, 4x over the ln of 5 times 2x squared. And I think we can cancel out a 2, a 2. We can cancel out an x and an x, so y prime would equal 2 over x ln of 5. And this last logarithmic function, I'm going to let you try to do that on your own. Remember that when you try to take the derivative of the stuff inside this natural log, sorry, this log is not a natural log, you'll have to do a product rule. And uh, yeah, good luck with that. This will conclude derivatives 9.1, derivatives of exponential functions and logarithmic functions.